Hello my crafty friends, it's Krista here from Second Chance Creation. This is part two um, for entry 45, which came from uh, Peggy Strom and her channel is, YouTube channel is Stormage, Stormy's Imagination Station. Great name because um, Peggy does think right outside the box. That will really get your imagination going. So um, I've left the link in part one and I'll leave her link again in part two. And she has an eBay store, and um, but I couldn't access it. So um, you need to go onto her webs on her YouTube channel in the About section and um, you'll be able to probably click on that. So I haven't opened the package, um, this journal. I wanted to um, share it with you, but this is a pretty card. I might photocopy this card and I might um, use the photo if you don't mind, um, Peggy. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right, I was very tempted, but I was a good girl. And um, this is just absolutely beautiful. I can see it already. Look at this. Look at this front cover. Isn't this gorgeous? And she's got a leaf here. Now, if I miss anything, you'll find the um, VR of this on her channel. And she's got a little bit of beads just here. Now, I'm hoping this is in focus because um, I'm sitting down. I've just done my back in again. And look at the beautiful dangles. Isn't this just super? And it's tied up with this pretty lace. Knowing Peggy, there's lots, going to be lots of yumminess and pows in it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now Peggy, are these some of the horses that you've worked with? You'll have to let me know. Checklist, little memo. And little docket. Isn't that cool? And a little tuck spot. And look at that horse looking at me. Oh, I love all this bling. Main track start. Wow. You'll have to let me know, Peggy, whether these are just Pinterest horses or whether um, you've actually worked with these. And she's filled this up with all these things to journal with. Look at this. Oh, some of her paper, I, th I do believe. And she's, yes, a flip out. I think this is one of her papers. Oh. Love that effect. Some baking paper, grease proof paper. My goodness, lots of ephemera here. And another horse. A nice grey. I used to have a grey horse. And um, I, I guess I'll just take that all out. Yes. Oh, unstoppable, absolutely. And these are some of her, this is some of her paper, I think. It's like vellum paper. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Peggy is a recyclist as well. She uses a lot of the stuff. Reese uses a lot of it. I'll try to put this all back. We have the next page. No, oh, this is an envelope. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that we have some goodies in here. Wear your hat. <laughs> Love it. There's some of her paper. Love it, Peggy. Thank you. Oh, I think this is some of her paper. And this is an actual um, envelope there. And then we open this up. Oh, more photos of the horses. Sorry, ladies. And a doily. Look at how she's folded that up to write on. I won't unfold it all. This is the backing of contact paper. I, I'm using this too, um, Peggy. And... Another little tuck spot, and you just keep unwrapping everything. Oh my goodness, it's jam packed with goodies! Little tags, tags. How cute is this? Look at this. This is an envelope. 
Look at this. I think this is vellum paper. Oh, did you splatter this? More unstoppable. And another horse picture. Thank you so much. This is just awesome. I hope you can see this. Like I said, I'm sitting down. Wow, this is just amazing. Here's this lovely pretty heart doily again. And just flip it out. And some more backing of a contact paper. Oh, I actually use the contact paper and make envelopes out of it too, Peggy. And you open this up. A lot of hidden little tuck spots and hot trot. Oh, this is cool. Open that up. These are one of her um, papers that she makes. Some more dockets. Piece of vellum, I think this is this. And another horse looking at me. <laughs> and Peggy's stitched this down here. Is it stitched? Oh no, it's just um, looks like stitching. This is so cool. I love it. Thank you, Peggy. Actually, I was thinking of making a little journal and put all the photos of the horses I've made. Well, I might use this. Look at this. Because um, they only need to be small pictures. Got a bit of a collection up and another page. And lots of flip ups, flip outs. Flip downs, beautiful main track only. More paper, my goodness me. Another tag, and look at this, another horse. Uh, this horse was a winner, was it? It's got the gold bling on it. Is it a grey? Yeah, dapple grey, beautiful. Love my greys. My first horse, my one and only horse, was a grey. Wow, look at this. More of um, Peggy's paper. Splatter paper. That's a tuck spot with more of her papers in it. Look at that. That is just amazing. Oh, that would make a really nice little card, gift card, little note card. Well, I'll keep that in here. I'll put a photo in it. And look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now what fell down? I'll just have to get that. Bear with me. It's happening. Okay. All right. Way up, Peggy. And then on the back, she's got Daydreamer. Made with Love by Peggy Strong, Stormy. Now, is that your horse, Stormy? Or are these just all photos from Pinterest? And she's done the spine with a beautiful applique. I love all the bling. I love all the, the, you know, what you've put into it. The dangles. And just, you know, the little beaded bits here with this beautiful leaf. and oh, It's gorgeous. Thank you very much, Peggy. Um, I think I'll be using this myself. And I, what I'll do is I'm going to load down my photos of the horses that I've made over a period of time. You know, in small pics. And actually put them in here. And um, that'll be my little keepsake. Thank you very much, Peggy. And good luck in the draw. And... Um, now this only took five days to get here. I just can't believe it. And yet a card, international card, can take up to 10 to 14 days. I don't know how they work that one out. Anyway, um, it has arrived. Many hugs and kisses back to you, Peggy. Awesome, my friend. And um, I love Prince as well. Um, fantastic. You've left me a little bit speechless there, my friend. All right, everyone. I better um, go now. It's that part of the day, ready for another cup of tea. I'll leave all the de uh, Peggy's details in this part two as well, just in case you missed part one. And uh, 
until tomorrow, Friday, and um, hopefully be a few more entries then. Until then, bye for now. Thank you, Peggy. Love it.